In this video, we're going to look at trading strategies for over and under three and a half goals market on Betfair. And I'm going to show you a really cool exit strategy that we can use if we're trading on the over three and a half goals side of the market. If used correctly and we get it right, it can allow us to take absolutely no loss when a trade goes wrong and if we're caught by an early goal. And if you watch to the end, we'll show you how to get a free copy of Trading Goals. That's our beginner's guide to trading the goal markets on Betfair. You can't get this anywhere else. Strap yourself in, go grab a nice cold beer, and let's get into it. So let's take a look at the market movement when you're on the over... 3.5 goals market now if you're backing unders we know that that price is gonna steam downwards it's gonna trend downwards from kickoff so it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that the price on over three and a half is gonna trend upwards from kickoff as long as there is no goal and there it's just gonna keep drifting so you could lay it at kickoff and then back it at a higher price and lock in a profit based on the price difference okay that's that's the idea there now let's have a look at what happens when a goal goes in on the over three and a half goals market and this is where it gets kind of interesting because this shows you here on this chart that the price started to drift from kickoff and uh it clearly says here 2.98 was was the low price on this one so the price drifted 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 clearly a goal went in but after the goal was scored, well, the price still didn't go below that entry price. So whoever had laid this particular price, if you if you were on the lay, if you got caught by a goal, well, there's still some profit to take, okay? Because obviously this market, it needs four goals for, uh, for this market to close. And when we're laying over three and a half goals, when we're laying, we're saying there's not going to be the four goals or more. So this is why a lot of traders do like this market is that in a way it kind of it, it, it's a little bit more forgiving because you need more goals for the market to close compared to the two and a half goals market. And so in this particular situation, you could see that, look, if you stayed in, ideally, you'd want to get out before the goal. But even if you were caught by the goal, well, there was still a, a profit available for you, OK, which is probably not something that would happen if you were on the two and a half goals market, depending on the time of the match. But um, th this is the key. This is why a lot of people do like three and a half goals, four goals to lose if you're laying over over three and a half. OK, and, uh, and a lot of traders see it like this is that you've got some extra lives to play with when you're trading this market. You could be in the market. You could be caught by a goal. But because you've kind of got that luxury of knowing that you need another three before uh, you, you potentially lose your whole liability. Well, depending on how you've profiled the match, you could let it run for a little bit longer. And obviously, if you're trading by laying over three and a half, you're going in because you've profiled the match as probably being a slow match, not full of goals. And so you could afford yourself the time to maybe let it tick down, maybe get out for a smaller loss. Or in the case of what we're going to show you today, get out for no loss at all. Okay, that's what we're actually going to demonstrate. That's why you, you clicked on the video. So um, the idea of what we're going to do is you're going to lay over 3.5 goals at kickoff and then exit for your desired profit if it remains nil-nil. Okay, that's the, 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 the kind of idea of it. 5% profit, 10%, 20%, 25%. That part is up to you, but that's the general idea. You lay at kickoff, exit for your desired profit while it is nil nil obviously if a goal goes in you're going to be in a bit of a sticky situation and so if a goal is scored with what we're going to demonstrate today if a goal is scored when we're exposed we're going to move all the red to the over 3.5 goals outcome so we're going to move all the red to the overs side of the book and leave zero on the unders okay and so once that's done you've got a few different ways that this can play out or different ways to approach your own strategy of course you could let the price run further let the match play out a little bit longer and then lock in a smaller loss that is an option as mentioned if you've profiled this match as being a slow one one where you're not expecting that many goals and you just got caught by an, caught by an early goal then 
this this could be a reasonable way to approach it just let that let the match run and it, it, it could be an early goal one nil to the home team and then half time it's still one nil 70 minutes on the clock still one nil and you profiled the match correctly and you just lock in a smaller loss at that particular point uh you could let it run totally and then only accept the loss if maybe there is another goal or maybe there are two more goals scored okay so that's kind of that whole extra lives thing you've used one life now you want to see if you can how, how much further you can get before the next goal is scored if that next goal is scored pretty soon that could worsen your loss that's obviously a risk you have to consider but if the second goal is scored in like the 80th minute the 90th minute well it's, it's, it's going to be a tiny loss if you want to take the loss at that particular point and then of course you could do this you could just let it run and potentially take no loss okay so if you've profiled this match as being one which you feel is gonna finish under 3.5 goals and then you've got in with the trade you've been caught by a goal well you could do exactly what we mentioned move all the red to overs and then just leave it and then if the match does finish under then you just take no loss on the trade at all okay so lots of options and lots of ideas and this is what these videos are all about this is what this channel is all about it's all about sharing the ideas seeing what works seeing what doesn't work okay we're not fully endorsing any particular way of trading this is all for you to make your own mind up and you to get in the market and decide what you want to do but anyway let, let's get into some real life demonstrations of this because i'm sure you might be a little bit confused by what i'm talking about and so i think showing you on the Betfair exchange is the best way to go. Let's dive into it. But before we do, I would really love it if you could click the like button to support the channel. It really helps us out. We put these videos out for free for your education. All we ask for in return is you click the like button. That's all you have to do. Okay, let's dive into some real life demonstrations of this so you can see exactly what I am talking about. So we've got this match from the MLS, LA Galaxy against Portland Timbers. This is the under three and a half goals there at 1.57, over three and a half goals at 2.68, okay? So we're going in favor of unders, but we're entering of a lay of uh, over three and a half, okay? So let's just get that in the market now. And so we've laid it there at 2.76, okay? So we're entering this trade with a lay. Let's let it go and play, and we'll give you an update once we're there. So we just hit 17 minutes on the clock in this one and we just got out now with a 10% profit. 10% on the risk, remember? Okay, not on the stake. So uh, we've got out with 10% profit. It, it, it's taken a bit of a while. Good reason for that is because it's been a very, very lively match and there was a bit of a lengthy VAR call on a potential penalty as well, which um, slowed things down. Actually, you're going to see it right now. Um, if, if YouTube are letting you see it. But anyway, yeah. So it looked like a penalty to me, but it wasn't given. But anyway, that, that's what slowed it down. But e either way, we got out with the profit within around 16, 17 minutes, okay? And uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. Let's take a quick look at the graph. So yeah, a bit of a slow burner, as you can see. And you can see the spike downwards when the markets fought the penalty was probably going to be given but it but it wasn't so anyway yeah just a quick example that's how it can work laying over three and a half goals so this match is from the mls new york red bulls against toronto fc and we're on the over and under three and a half goals market and this is a real low price to lay okay 2.2 so this is a lot more low risk let's just get it in the market because this match is just about to kick off apparently so um yeah you go in with a hundred pound lay it's 121 pound of risk okay um so anyway match is just about to start let's give you an update once we're underway so the worst case scenario has just happened and very very worst case with a goal pretty much right at the start two minutes in and we've got a goal right so obviously when you're doing this sort of trade it's a time value trade time decay trade whatever you want to call it um an early goal is not good so we could cash this out for an equal loss of uh, 45 pounds here or we could do this okay so let me show you we're just going to back over three and a half goals with the same stake that we used okay let me try and just get this in the market i mean every tick counts 
So let's just get that in. It should should get fully matched very very shortly. But then um, and yeah, there it is. And now and now you'll see. So now what we've done is we put all the red onto over three and a half goals. Okay, so we could guarantee a loss of forty five pounds. Or, if this match remains under three and a half goals, then we could just take no loss at all. Or, we let this drift for uh, until maybe half time or something, and then you lock in a smaller loss. But that's the idea. Now, if you've done research and you've profiled this match as being good for trading under three and a half goals, and maybe you've got good reason to believe this match is not going to finish under three and a half goals, and this is a pretty good option to take, okay? You're not guaranteeing a loss. If we lock it in with a red screen, we're guaranteeing a loss. But by flipping the loss onto the over three and a half goals uh, market, well, we still need three, three more goals to be scored in this match for this market to lose. So you could just let it run. And another thing to keep in mind is that when a team takes the lead in a situation like this, well they're leading they don't need to necessarily chase more goals so it can be worth profiling the teams at the same time it seems like man city always chase more goals as we know that's kind of their philosophy but just take a closer look at the team that you're involved with okay and uh, make your decision there so anyway quick example of that as you saw what we did we laid the over three and a half goals market and then uh, a 2.2 early goal went in so we left all the red screen on the over three and a half goals result okay simple as that new york one toronto nil and just to come back to this particular match we're in the 79th minute and it is two nil to new york um but yeah we haven't got close to getting the four goals so you can see now this cash out we could just accept a six pound loss if we don't fancy getting through the final 10 minutes without there being two goals I and mean, you never know in the MLS but um, but anyway it just goes to show you I mean you could just let this run let this run lock in a much smaller loss later on or just let it run all the way to the end and take no loss at all so anyway just wanted to show you how this match is pretty much turning out for those who might have been curious and those who might have wondered yeah what happens later on if we've only got say two one or two goals that's pretty much what you can do get out for a minimal loss as well so even even more reason for this so i hope you enjoyed checking that out and if you're going to try that strategy in the markets please try it with small stakes and as promised if you are interested in learning more about trading the gold markets on betfair we have put together this beginner's guide to trading goals into a free pdf so you can read it on your laptop on your tablet or on your phone i know some of the loyal subscribers they've probably already got this but as said it's free to download and add to your collection or if you're totally new then well not sure what you're waiting for okay <laughs> click the link in the description um the, put in your very best email address so we have to email it right to you if you put in a fake email address that is not going to work and we get loads of those every single day doesn't make any difference to us because they just get deleted so you're only wasting your own time put in your very best email address we will email it right to you and reading this with a nice cold beer is strongly recommended this is mainly focused on the two and a half goals market over and under but you can apply it to most goal markets when you're trading football okay so it's absolutely free link is in the description go and grab it and if you enjoyed watching this video then i have a sneaky suspicion you're going to like the video that is appearing on this screen right now check that video out click on the video and i'm going to see you over there go grab another nice cold beer and we'll get going right away